One of the things that drew me to magic was the idea that anything was possible. And I, it's probably because of the way that my mother had raised me to believe that anything was possible. And magic became um, a symbol or almost proof that, that anything was possible. I grew up reading magic books. I was illiterate up until that point. I loved magic so much that I learned how to read for it. To me, magic is a moment in which we imagine infinite possibilities. One of my first jobs is pulling them out of that world and into the one that I want them to, to see and feel. And the what if question, what if this was possible? The curiosity, you know, curiosity is like the, the root of so much in life. And then it follows up the question with this, with the, it, you know, it wraps it up with this message of hope, which is another really powerful thing. You know, not only is, it, is there the question of what if, it's possible, but then there's the hope of it being possible. For any artist, I think, is to evoke an emotion that's so, so intense and extreme that it changes the way that they look at things, the way they look at life afterwards. You know, when you put m most of your life into an art form, it becomes very special to you, and you want to communicate how special it is. In life, there's all these magic moments all around us all the time, and we don't take the time to, to see them or to realize that they're there. We live in a very scientific, analytical age where everything has to fit into a box or it doesn't exist. The most amazing things in life cannot fit into a box. It's amazing how much we're capable of when we are no longer held down by limiting beliefs. I think a lot of times our, our limiting beliefs are what keep us from reaching our dreams. And without goals, I feel like you're not growing. If you're not growing, then you're dying. I spent a lot of time just working on trying to perfect something and enjoying that process. Di Vernon once said, in order to be a great magician, you have to love practice. I read that quote when I was pretty young, so just would really get into practicing. So there's just always more to learn. And, and the magic, the technique itself is just like, it's, um, there's always ways to make it better. And you're always trying to tweak something just the tiniest, in the tw tiniest way in order to make it look better than it was before. And how it turned a trick into something that was beautiful. Now it's putting it out into the world, whether it's via a digital platform or, um, you know, huge stages. But yeah, now it's time to, to give it to the people. That's the fun part, is being magic. Like actually, you know, personifying it, like embodying that to the point where, you know, everywhere you go, you, you kind of are magic, like you do magic. Even when I'm having a bad day or I'm kind of depressed or sad or whatnot. I could do magic and all of a sudden it's like the, the energy is kicked back up into 110% and I'm completely charged and I feel better than I've ever felt in my life. <laughs>